Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to discuss a few important questions from term 2 for class 11. So I'll be showing you the questions first. These are the four questions that I'm going to discuss in this video. So first is the title Silk Road, then theme of Mother's Day, then Mrs. Fitzgerald is portrayed as Mrs. Pearson's alter ego comment and lastly the message of the play Mother's Day. Let's get started with the first one. The title. Discuss the title Silk Road. Now, Silk Road was a name given to a network of ancient routes that played a central role in facilitating economic, cultural, political and religious exchanges between the East and West. It mainly derives its name from the highly lucrative trade of silk textiles that were produced almost exclusively in China. So, East say West, Silk Jatara, that was produced in China. And in ancient times, this was the route that connected Europe to Asia. So along with silk, many other things like spices, tea, horses and other exotic plants and animals they were traded using this network that connect, sorry, that connected Europe with the East. The author of this travelogue describes his journey to Mount Kailash through one of the routes of this ancient network. That is why the title is often justified. So author jo hai, usne ek aise road jo hai, wo choose ki, jo ki is ancient route ka part hai. So that is why the title Silk Road is apt and justified. Now we move on to the next question. So next question is the theme of the play Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a humorous play voicing the status of mothers in a family. Mothers are often taken for granted by the family members. They serve the family with care and take care of their needs. A housewife works throughout the day with sincerity and love to keep all the members happy but is never appreciated or thanked. She doesn't even have the provision to take out some time for herself during the day, leave aside a day off in a week. In the play, Mrs. Pearson plays the role of such a mother. She readily takes orders from all her family members, her husband George, her daughter Doris and her son Cyril. No one in the family realizes that she too needs a break as they get it from work. Also, they're so selfish and insensitive towards the hard work done by Mrs. Pearson to keep the family going that they never care to thank her or be polite to her. They enjoy their outings, leaving her alone at home in the evenings. But after the interchange of personalities between Mrs. Pearson and Mrs. Fitzgerald, without the knowledge of Mrs. Pearson's family, of course, the family of Mrs. Pearson gets a setback when Mrs. Pearson refuses to take any orders from them and tells them about her holiday plan. This is enough for the family to realize their rude behavior with Mrs. Pearson and they reform themselves for good. So this is the theme of the play Mother's Day. The next one is Mrs. Fitzgerald is portrayed as Mrs. Pearson's alter ego comment. Mrs. Fitzgerald and Mrs. Pearson have opposite personalities. Mrs. Fitzgerald is bold and audacious, whereas Mrs. Pearson is soft and submissive. It is Mrs. Fitzgerald who makes her realize that she deserves better from her family. She tells her to value herself and seek respect from her family by changing her attitude towards them. This is what Mrs. Pearson had always dreamt of. She had wished for a little courage to speak up her mind to her family members, but she is never able to gather enough courage or get the right time for it. Mrs. Fitzgerald does it for her as Mrs. Pearson. Mrs. Pearson herself would have never been able to do it. Thus, Mrs. Fitzgerald is portrayed as Mrs. Pearson's alter ego because she is what Mrs. Pearson wants to be. So alter ego wo hai, jise hum dekhte kisi aur mein. Wo cheese wo, wo qualities do hum apne mein chahte hai, but we are not able to get those in, in ourselves, but we admire those in others. So, same is the condition with Mrs. Pearson. Now, the last question, message of the play, Mother's Day. The message of the play is loud and clear. A mother in the family must be given due respect and love. She must not be taken for granted. She works the whole day to make the life of the family members easy, but in return, she deserves affection and care from the family. A family must understand her needs for an outing or for some free time for herself. Her being soft at heart should not be treated as her weakness. This message is highlighted through Mrs. Pearson, 
who for the sake of love for her family suffers from overwork and loneliness. So this is the message. In case it is a detailed answer, then you can quote an example from the play also. So that's all for today. These are the important questions for your revision and I hope that these are going to help you in your exams. Do not leave without subscribing. Bye for now and happy preparation.